Astronomers unearth vital planetary system for decoding the enigma of super-Earth's formation. The breakthrough was achieved through a strong collaboration among European and American universities, with essential contributions from the U.S. space mission TESS Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS's primary objective is to identify planets orbiting nearby luminous stars by conducting a comprehensive survey of the entire sky. Using the transit method, TESS meticulously monitors the brightness of numerous stars, searching for subtle dimming patterns that could indicate the presence of a planet passing in front of the star as observed from Earth. Despite TESS's ability to detect new worlds, ground-based telescopes are crucial for confirming the planetary nature of the observed signals. Francisco J. E. Pozuelos, an astrophysicist and the lead author of the study, formerly associated with the Exotic Laboratory at the University of Liège and presently affiliated with the Spanish National Research Council IAACSIC, elaborated on this need for collaborative confirmation. The celestial bodies known as TOI 2096b and TOI 2096c were meticulously observed utilizing an international network of ground-based telescopes. This collaborative effort facilitated the confirmation and detailed characterization of these planets. The University of Liège spearheaded the Trappist and Speculus projects, whose telescopes played a significant role in capturing the majority of the transit events. Mathilde Timmermans, a doctoral student at the Exotic Lab at Ulige and the second author of the scientific paper, stated that through an exhaustive analysis of the collected data, a fascinating discovery was made. It was found that both planets exhibited resonant orbits, wherein the inner planet completes two orbits around the star for each orbit of the outer planet. The periods of these planets are exceptionally close to being a multiple of each other, approximately 3.12 days for planet B and 6.38 days for planet C. This unique configuration leads to a strong gravitational interaction between the planets. Consequently, this interaction causes variations in the timing of the planet's transits, either delaying or accelerating their passage in front of the star. Moreover, it is speculated that this intriguing characteristic could potentially enable the measurement of the planet's masses using larger telescopes in the near future. According to Mathilde Timmermans, the researchers involved in this discovery have determined that the radius of planet B, the one closest to its star, is 1.2 times that of Earth, earning it the label of a super-Earth. This suggests that planet B may have similar characteristics to Earth, such as a predominantly rocky composition and a potentially thin atmosphere. On the other hand, planet C has a radius 1.9 times that of Earth and 55% that of Neptune, placing it in the category of mini-Neptunes. Mini-Neptunes typically consist of a rocky and icy core surrounded by expansive atmospheres rich in hydrogen or water, similar to the composition of Uranus and Neptune in our own solar system. The sizes of these planets are particularly fascinating because there are fewer planets with radii between 1.5 and 2.5 times that of Earth than what theoretical models predict, making them quite rare. These planets are of great significance due to their sizes, as Mathilde Timmermans explains. Despite numerous formation models attempting to explain the origin of super-Earths and mini-Neptunes, none of them fully align with the observations. TOI-2096, however, stands out as the only known system to date with a super-Earth and a mini-Neptune precisely within the size range where the models contradict each other. In other words, TOI-2096 could be the key system we have been seeking to comprehend the formation of these planetary systems and their unique characteristics. Subscribe, like, and share to join our community of enthusiastic viewers. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content, and don't forget to share with your friends and family. Together, let us spread the word and build an engaged and supportive community on YouTube. Thank you for your support.